I'm Anand Paravastu and I work at Georgia Tech. I teach chemical engineering. What you see on the screen is two examples of the products of my laboratory's research. Uh, on the left is a nanoparticle formed by assembly of the Alzheimer's beta amyloid peptide. On the right is a short uh, fragment uh, computer model of a nanofiber formed by two peptides, a peptide is a small protein, designed by humans uh, to come together cooperatively. Why do we study pathological aggregation? Uh, well, because it's pathological. So this is a diagram of what happens in Alzheimer's disease as far as we understand it. The A-beta or amyloid beta peptide is created on the surface of neurons and it forms various nanostructures and uh, the largest uh, results in plaque deposits in the brain, which is the most obvious sign of Alzheimer's disease. But there are also smaller aggregates, oligomers or nanoparticles that are considered specially toxic. So we'd like to understand the structures and how we might be able to uh, prevent uh, neuronal damage. In the field of designer assemblies, we want to make therapeutic biomaterials. Uh, an example would be uh, an assembly, a hydrogel that mimics an extracellular matrix for a stem cell regenerative therapy, or a matrix that encapsulates active enzymes or uh, biomolecules uh, for therapeutic purposes to be injected as hydrogels. This is a summary of our lab's workflow. We synthesize proteins in the laboratory with isotopic labels, and then we do nuclear magnetic resonance, which is a radio frequency spectroscopy to study interatomic proximities. Then we do computer simulations of molecular structure as well as spin dynamics uh, to understand how everything arranges in three dimensions. Here's a little more detail on the Alzheimer's beta amyloid oligomer, a sample data set indicating proximities between atoms and specific amino acids, a map of how amino acids are arranged in three dimensions, and a computer model superimposed on a cryo-electron microscopy images, image. These are examples of designer systems. Uh, this is that co-assembling nanofiber. Two peptides uh, come together to form a nanofiber. This is a peptoid nanosheet. A peptoid is a peptide mimic. And this is a beta hairpin system that forms an extracellular matrix uh, upon um, addition to the body. So to summarize, we do two things. We study naturally occurring peptide aggregation, usually related to pathology, and we design new protein biomaterials.